think. But they do have this kind of like a double rate. All focus on help having bad names unless they make a mistake. So people just be CSing. Slight lead in mid for CC and C. Yeah, Never not too up. heavy for the moment. We know Jarek up to can play uh, catch up. 33 Arme. This could be our first blood. He's holding that Burrow strike for a very long time. Zai can't reach him to attack. So 33 will have to dive underneath the tower if he wants this. There's Caustic Finale, but it's not enough. Arme can just south straight through it. It's 33 who will actually be the one to. The bottom lane was too busy having stuff coming out to them. PPD brought four clarities. <laughs> Uh, and the Terror Blade was able to finish up his magic wand because of the ring that was sent out to him. But in the meantime, CC is just trying to force this lane out. He doesn't have the regeneration to work with. He's at least got some of the money now, so he finishes up the secondary null. And he buys the salve, but he doesn't have, the he doesn't have any money for the mango we all he also wants to get. Yeah. I like the build maybe went. This is something he's been doing all the way since TI5, this gyro mid. And he traditionally always puts points in flak. And when you're against a puck, I like the decision a lot because he'll obviously always dodge the rocket. This allows you to stay competitive and constantly push the lane back at him. Where so, is his like? Okay, he's actually teeping all the way back to base. So didn't want to send the courier. I didn't want to spend the money on the south. This does allow a double damage rune into CC and C. It will burn the money for the consumables. I don't know if this is as just the the two nulls and then just a couple of consumables to stay mm -hmm. in the lane. Yep. Do you think that's a reaction just the, to the flat cannon uh, harassment that Somnus has done? Okay, there's your, there's your uh, dream yeah. coil and control. That's the way you thought it was going to happen last yeah. time. <laughs> in one tower, but yep. yeah, that's that's not an option in a in a mid lane. He's going to rotate towards bottom with his ultimate. Yeah, but... Chalice. Oh my lord! He was standing next to those three creeps when the shadow wave connected and combining with metamorphosis. And the poison touch slow a little bit. There. Yeah, here comes your first TP in. Quick illusionary orb away. Chalice does not have level six. They're coming for the arcane rune. Somnus will not win that race. But now CCNC needs to hide inside the phase ship. A quick dream call catching two. And Somnus and Chalice, they can't jump away, but they can at least glimpse back CCNC. X Nova just got in range with that level two glimpse. Do the work. And there was nothing PPD. Actually, he had, he yeah, had the shallow yeah. grave. He just, uh, the glimpse threw off the positioning of Puck, and then all, he died in the cast animation. That's... That's kind of savage. You gotta buy another. Uh, find it. No, top lane, yeah. we can find <laughs> this. 33 is rotating up. The smoke will break. 33 needs to bar a strike instantly, but did not do so. Thanks to Chalice having that roar available, they'll find the kill. So maybe he's gotta keep doing rotate around, find a kill with the roar. FY. Easy as he just comes from the other side. It's like, fine, I'm gonna commit my dream call, Zai. I'll terrorize back the Keeper of the Light. Now to fear, he snaps himself on the dream coil. And the other stolen boar. Yeah. Chuxa, never, never forget the French. Arme, looking to run out of this one. 33. Could potentially borrow a strike. Zai, gonna look for the extra control, but. With a quick time walk away, uh, you thought you'd be safe, but the epicenter damage combining with the Dream Coil control of CC and C will pick off that faceless void. The number one net worth for LGD on the sideline for almost half a minute. It's kind of the X factor for Optic this game is going to be just how much damage they can do in these stun combos. Like Willow sanking Puck, I, I don't think anyone can live oh. through that the entire game. Somnus turned around just at the right time. The Curse Crown will still get the stun. He'll go for a call down, but 33, ready to follow up with the Virus Strike. Painting the stuns beautifully, Optic. Draft where they would just stun somebody to death. You don't even need to do that nowadays because you have a Dark Willow. Mm -hmm. So a Sand King stun and then the uh, the dag or sorry, not the dag and fight. They're off the after Pycat Cat up on top. He has one charge as Pycat just kills off X Nova. If he can wand the Chrono, he gets wow. given up, but he got the wand off before the Chrono came out. And now Pycat, he potentially can just turn on Sunder, but not when Ame's got so little life, it's just not worth it. So he gets the kill and walks away from two ultimates. Crazy tread swap then. It oh. was, it was, wait, yeah. Oh, you know what it was? It was because the Dragon Lance was on Courier, right? Yeah. So he wands and then gets the Dragon Lance, and all of a sudden it's like a bonus 150 health on top of the wand. Bottom lane, 33. Yeah, Chalice is the easier target when he walks into two of the Brambles. Then you borrow a strike, all follow up. So Chalice will fall for the price. Oh, Dark Willow. Optic looking really strong in this game. And the LG lineup is a tempo and pressure base, and they aren't getting any. Uh, they still have these ancient stacks, no one can take. Uh, Peter wasn't ready for that one. He shallow grave and still couldn't escape in the mid. Zaya's gonna look for some revenge. Uh, support's not coming fast enough. The Bramble 
Okay, I'm gonna say, support's not coming fast enough. That haste rune is the thing that's trying to save Somnus and the homing missile, Willow. One charge is four, are available. They have to play the Fog of War inside the pit, but no, Somnus attacks. Gets the attack in just in time. But if it wasn't for that haste yeah. rune, he would have lost his life. Yeah. It's all about balance. PPD's on bottom lane now, smoke intact. Uh, tree line, however, is not, but Epicenter! Chalice just walks in to finish off the tower. This, this is when you just beg the question, is it worth it? Throw it. Uh, into the trees, our mate. Actually getting revealed. Uh, silence almost in the mark, and they do see our mate. Jaunting forward, no, CCNC holds it. They have instead 33 Epicenter and Burrow Strike connect from the Void, but he time walks it out, stunned up in the trees, terrorized to make him run, but he actually couldn't. He was uh, trapped between, gonna walk into it. Maybe they also, actually, no, not, they, they managed to walk around it. DC and C will be the one to walk into it. The storm, the roar, so quick. No supports nearby, and the Illuminate would have killed him anyway. So X node, one underneath the sentry of LGD. Because if they had the aggressive one down, I see X Nova wrapping around the side. So Zai, well, he just wants to get the hell out of there. Started his TP and then cancelled it because Pycat rotated over. PPD came back into the fight. Somnus is here. Zai, okay, that's a big ancient sack. Maybe he could deny himself off this, or he could just use the bramble homing missile as well as flat cannon. Somnus efficiency for farming as well as killing at the same time. They're out of range of any observer wards of Optic and they'll walk right underneath one of them. Zai's in the neighborhood. He's underneath the dire observer ward, so is 33. The war is out and they just leave die Zai to die. Mm -hmm. uh, even recall back in? Okay, maybe not. The glimpse is there. So two heroes lost for a five-man smoke maneuver. It's now aggressive. Uh, he's, he's considering an, an, an aggressive weave. Get some information, drops down that armor. Puck ready to jump in as well and looking for the movement. They're already starting to run out. Kinetic Field is up, they don't have anyone locked in position. Roshan, still down low. This Weave is approaching Max, they've got oh, negative 9 armor with a BKB. Ame will survive, he's still a Chronosphere, 33 can't get out, so they have to Shallow Grave him. Buy some time, but Sai, he's preparing it. Everyone get terrorized, and they jump in deeper. C, C, and C with the Dream Call, they've already claimed two. The snap onto Somnus, they can't follow up. Pycat was pushed back by the Blinding Light, so he can't attack, but he knows Roshan is low. They want to finish the job. Charles is back in again, doesn't have Raw back just yet. They have the Dust. They see him, they want to bring down that Beastmaster, another quick jump up, it's kill time at the moment, as that's actually a soloing, what the hell? FY is being kept out with the Gyrocopter in the mid lane by Zai, almost solo, PPD's had time for a secondary Shello Grape, I think Somnus has had enough of this, into the Shadow Realm, Zai will come back out of it straight to death, but Pycat swapping the life with Somnus, giving everything back that was stolen previously, Exnova and Chalice, the walking dead, heals, vision, it all goes the way of LGD. And we'll see if Optic can actually scout this out. He walks in range of the creep wave. I haven't seen a ping just yet. But they'll realize it pretty soon. Never ending blinding lights. Here comes your illusionary orb. Hitting onto the stunned up faceless void. 33. Epicenter gets prepped. He jumps in. In the middle of the storm. Roshan at 100 HP. Dive will kill an army. Hit the Aegis Immortal. And 33. Shallow graved up. Gets a fire strike outside the pit. They have the control from the Chronosphere. Army. He got Terra Blade. Protected by BKB, but not by friends. He has the Sunder Revival. Terrorize. Will be able to work. Beastmaster dropping down Pycat. Swapping the life with Ame as they want to keep going. But in the back lines, it's Zai being attacked by Somnus Pycat. The last man standing in his metamorphosis. He's battling Ame, who doesn't have the life. And thanks to the Reflection Illusion, you're able to attack inside of Roshan. But time dilation, Pycat. He may not be able to run, but he can stand. Ame up the hill and away. Pycat is such a... With metamorphosis, he does have a double damage room, as well as the BKB Manta. Not to mention, he is by far the highest net worth on the field. But PPD, he is the recipient of this gank. With that extra vision from FY, they knew it was in the trees. So LGD take the kill on the Dazzle and the Tier 1 tower, potentially forcing down the mid two. So what? Uh, he has got to be careful here. Well, that vision. It's, it's still not daytime. Well, he actually jumped out. Orb, he's got Yules, so... Still under mana leak, so got that homing missile coming its way. He burnt every single bit of mana, and then has got his wand in the backpack, so they just wreck what? him totally. He had a ward, too. Yep, Observer and Sentry. 
Jump in, uh, 33, gonna need to learn that epicenter sitting in the tree line, but he Barra strikes the back line, catching out the two. Illuminous Bam, no, the roll, the Shallow Grave! PPD got it off in time, now they can go for that Thunder with the Badgers, there's your swap out! He takes off the life, and then Faceless Boy will drop Pycat, it's such a beast! The stun creation, the back lines from 33, made all of this possible, and Pycat, he wants one hit on the Chalice, he won't be able to reach it, Pycat has to stand his ground, got a homing missile flying at him, gets rid of it, but doesn't have enough life to survive, Somnus lives through all of this, PPD couldn't reach him for a secondary shallow grave. So the TP of Z over the Aeon disc. Unless he's missing something that I'm not seeing. Either way, here comes Optic, jump forward, Arme, double chrono. He got PPD as well as Pycat. It couldn't have been any better. 33 isolated by the Disruptor. They just can't save him all. The Aeon disc will now give him the extra bit of life. The Thunder swap out, but no. Lotus Orb was there, so nothing happens. Optic lose four, Optic lose five, and LGD is definitely an upside. But LGD, they're coming in. Look for the call down. This is the last big roll of the dice. Optic need this to work, and a dream coil. It does work so far, but they haven't snapped just yet. Chalice, he does actually snap the dream coil. Low on life up the hill, but then Pycat into the fight. Looking for a good Sunder target. The roar has been expended, but this metamorphosis is timing out right now. 33 can get the double barrier strike, but he's up there by himself until CNC gets the blink forward. The Beastmaster will finally fall, but 33 will be the sacrificial land for it. Zai needs to get out of here. He cannot do so. Didn't have the Shadow Realm available. Being chased by homing missiles, not to mention the rest of the team, but CCNC in once more, killing off Somnus. 1700 gold for that kill. So much money, but it won't mean a jack hole if you cannot buy back, if you cannot stay alive. Then Terra Blade locked out. Four heroes gone. Almost a minute and a half for all of them. PPD time locked on the TP, and this will probably almost be. They might even look to go for that. Yeah, yeah. We just get two racks here, and I think we call it a day. Go back to Roche. It's nighttime now, so their threat isn't as high, but it's all just those couple of fights in the mid game. Optic falls behind, and all of a sudden you're at a point where how do you ever team fight into LGD at daytime? You just can't. There's no vision advantage. Mm -hmm. You cannot kill the Cobble. 33 can't stop this, even with Dark Willow respawning. LGD can just back up. You already start the recall on the gyrocopter. They do Roshan. Optic will spend the next couple of seconds, just uh, or minutes, trying to and the cheese in the gyrocopters. 33 was trying to lay it. They should jump forward. They've got the dazzle. Mana leaked up. Just way too much information in position until that time. If they find a pick off, they'll go for it. Until then, okay, they found the pick off. The Scythe device of FY going to work on CC and C. Space gets created, but here comes Arme. He got Zai in the back lines too. If he wants to go for the Chrono Spear, they thought that was a real one. They even Shallow Grave it up, so they waste so much time, LGD, trying to go for Pycat, but now they found a real one. But the power of Epicenter from 33, all five here is caught. They're all terrorized as well, but it's too little, too late. Even the four man curse crown is beautiful to watch, but really, it is. All for naught. Optic Gaming wiped from the face of the earth and LGD will 3 0 it, joining TNC in that top two position. They will have the quarterfinal berth. They can avoid the best of three elimination game, and this is exactly where they.